so parenting coach so like tell us a little bit about what you know what a parenting coach is and also if you can give some solutions because this is solution based television just some solutions on how to deal with the kids that's at home you know it was kind of like a traumatic experience i feel i feel there was a lot of trauma ensued you know during this whole covid crisis so if you have a couple suggestions or solutions please share with us absolutely i think that's a great question um i'm a parent myself i homeschooled my daughter for eight years and um you know, I know what it feels like to suddenly have your kids at home and to be responsible for not only their education, but for their um, social place in the home, their responsibilities as a sibling or their responsibilities as a child in the home. What does that look like? Is there a framework for that? Um, so one of the things I tell my clients a lot about, you know, just being home with your kids and really embracing this time is to just take your time, you know, listen to your kids. They'll, they'll show you and tell you and talk about every day what they want to do. And the best thing that you can do is be the person who makes what they want to do possible, right? So number one, I would say make sure that your home is what we call a yes environment. Make sure that the environment is saying yes to the children. Make sure there aren't things out that you don't want them to get into. If you don't want them watching a bunch of TV, figure out a way to put it away and cover it during the times you don't want them to use it. Really help them navigate being in the house that long during the day like that to really understand when there's a certain area of the house that's off limits and so how do you make it discreet or block it off and then the areas that are that are for them and that are available and then set up opportunities for them to really be able to open up and tell you what they want to do. Most kids are going to say they're bored initially because they're used to having so much stimulation at school. However, our kids do enjoy being around us. So we want to be fun. We want to make it active. We want to make it interesting. So if we're really listening to our kids, this should be so easy. It should be as simple as asking them what their favorite color is and creating an activity just based off of things that are that color. Giving them opportunities to look into books, giving them opportunities to do their own online research, giving them opportunities to walk around their house and just find things that they're interested in or they've never noticed before. Utilize the simple and small spaces that you have, but really open your child's imagination and their ability to learn with you by really delving into what they're interested in. Number two, I would say, don't be afraid to add what you're interested in, right? You're gonna be with your kids, you're doing all these activities with them. Choose something that you like and introduce it to them. I happen to be a chef as well. I went to culinary school and I've worked in lots of restaurants and in a catering, catering capacity. And one thing I know is most kids, there are some exceptions to the rule, but most kids love experimenting. And if you can make making food sound like a science experiment, Oh man, you really have them. So don't be afraid to let your kids explore. And sure, I hear a lot of times, oh, I don't want them to waste ingredients, you know, food costs money. Yes, you're absolutely right. So focus on doing activities with them that do provide a meal at the end of it, or do provide some type of prepared and complete dish that they can then enjoy and eat at the end. Um, and then, like I said, going back to the things that you're interested in, if you're interested in horses, or you're inter interested in photography, or maybe you like certain types of music, introduce your kids to the things that you like, and then you may find that you have similar things in common, and then that gives you more things to bond over. And lastly, my third suggestion would be, don't be afraid to do nothing. There's so much value that comes in silence. There's so much value that comes in asking your kids, what do you think we should do today? And then really allow them to think about it. Give them time, allow them to pause and really ponder. And if they can't think of anything, that's the best time to be able to practice meditation, to be able to introduce mindfulness, to be able to introduce the sacredness and the importance of sitting still and just being able to breathe and focus on the breath. Take it into more of a spiritual opportunity and create something for them that teaches them how to take care of themselves without needing anybody else. 
how to take a break from the family, maybe go to their room and have a nap, or take some time, you know, being with one family member as opposed to everybody and really making a schedule so that you have individual time with each of your children in a special way every day. But all of these things are ultimately going to help you deal with having them home with you and you needing to figure out what to do with all these hours that you have with them, making it fun, making it something that you enjoy, and really taking parenting to the next level.